Hi guys, welcome back. Subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell icon to turn on the notifications so that you won't miss any of my videos in the future. Today, I'm going to share with you guys a very easy recipe to make spicy mutton curry. This video is in collaboration with Oki Home. They have sent me two very beautiful and high quality cookware. It's called Peak 8 Non-Stick Cookware. So I thought why not use this opportunity to cook with their cookware today. I will be leaving all the links in the description box below. So do check it out. Okay, so now let's get started with the mutton curry. I'm going to take half kilo mutton here. So I have already cleaned it and now I'm going to pressure cook it. So what you have to do is along with the mutton, put one fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon red chili powder, two teaspoons of coriander powder, one teaspoon pepper powder, one teaspoon garam masala, half a teaspoon of salt or salt to taste, Also add 1 teaspoon of lemon juice and 1 teaspoon ginger garlic paste. Now mix everything very well. Go ahead and add hot water enough to cover the mutton pieces as shown in the video. Now, cover it and pressure cook it for around 3 to 4 whistles. Put the pressure cooker on high flame until the first whistle and lower the flame and cook for 2 to 3 more whistles. Cooking time for mutton will vary from place to place, so please keep that in mind and adjust the cooking time accordingly. Now let's make the gravy for this mutton. Now place the cookware on high flame and add 1 tablespoon of cooking oil. That's all you need. You don't need more oil than that. Now add half a teaspoon of cumin seeds. Go ahead and add 2 medium sized onions roughly chopped. Saute it very well. Here, I am going to add a little bit salt to cook the onions faster. Add 2 roughly chopped chilies. Here I have taken 1 green chilli and 1 red chilli. And also add 1 handful of curry leaves. Now add 1 teaspoon of ginger garlic paste and mix it well. Now cook it for 5 minutes or until the raw smell of ginger garlic paste is gone. Now add 1 roughly chopped tomato. Mix well and cover and cook it until tomatoes are well done. After it's properly cooked, let's add around 2 pinch of turmeric powder. Remember we have already uh, added uh, turmeric powder while cooking the mutton. So we need only 2 pinch of turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon chilli powder, 1 teaspoon pepper powder and also 1 teaspoon coriander powder and mix everything very well. Now add a little bit of hot water and cover the lid and cook for around 5 minutes. 
Now let's open the pressure cooker and see if the mutton is cooked well. As you can see here the mutton is cooked well. So now let's go ahead and pour this mutton along with the stock into the curry mixture. Now is the time to check the salt and if you want to add more then add accordingly. Now go ahead and add a handful of coriander leaves. Mix well and cover the lid and cook on low flame for 10 more minutes. After around 10 minutes, you can see that it's cooked properly. Like you can see how the gravy has thickened and uh, you can see the mutton has incorporated well with the curry. So it's all done. Now it's ready to serve. This is a very simple recipe guys. Even it is beginner friendly. Anybody can do it. It's so easy. Please, please, please try this at home. And I'm sure you guys are going to love this. by the way guys i loved using this peak 8 cookware from oki home as you can see it's so stylish and sleek and they also have this very unique octagonal design which is very eye-catching and beautiful i will leave all the features and everything in the description box below um please check it out and also don't forget to check out their website the link is in the description box below so don't forget to try out this recipe and let me know in the comments below how it turned out yes so that's it for this video guys i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did then please give me a thumbs up and share this video with your friends and family and please subscribe if you haven't already and also click on the bell button so that you will be notified once i upload a new video so bye guys love you